my beloved Mona, today is the happiest day of my life. My love for you grows deeper every day. You constantly amaze me with your kindness, grace, and love. You make me smile, you make me laugh, you make me a better person. You're beautiful inside and out. So now I declare that I'm ready to become one with you. I'm so thankful to our Lord for granting us this amazing gift. I ask you now to trust me with your heart. I will take care for you and love you unconditionally forever. I trust you with my heart from now and forever. Cause you are the best part of me. Mona, I'm so grateful to call you my sister, but even more than that, my friend. Your giving character and joy is contagious, and I really hope that continues to spread throughout your life and throughout your marriage with Edward. I'm so grateful that you found a man that truly completes and loves you, and I can't wait to see your family grow together. I know that everyone here knows what I mean when I say that Edward has a heart of gold. He's so humble to admit this, but Edward is one of the most selfless people that I know. And to you, Mona, I can ask for no one better to compliment my older brother. I have honestly never seen Edward happier than he is, and he's been with you. And the passion in his eyes when he looks at you proves that. <laughs> Follow in the steps of our forefathers, submit yourselves to one another in love and purity. May the Lord God grant you a long and prosperous life together. May he always stay with you and dwell in your home. May he fill your hearts with spiritual love and grant you a long, happy life with blessed children. May he accept our prayers for this blessed ceremony. For this joy that he has sanctioned for you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you are so beautiful. I love you. You are, you are. Cause you are the best part of me. I'm Yostina, I'm the oldest sister of the three. We have been through so much together and I am so proud of the woman she has become. A woman whose external beauty will turn your head and inner beauty will bring you to your knees. And then there was the day Mona called me to tell me she wanted to marry Edward. She told me she had a feeling right away that he was the one. And when I met Edward, he came to us with an open heart and such generosity. I saw the way he looked at my sister. I knew he saw in her all the beauty that I know. I knew that he would love her with the true intensity and commitment it takes to be a husband. And because of this, our family has always welcomed Edward with open arms as a son, a brother, an uncle, and friend. May God grant you many years of happiness and a lifetime as beautiful as this wedding. My dearest Edward, I can't believe the day is here, the day I get to marry you. I thank God so much that he brought you into my life. I am truly blessed to get to call you my husband. You have taught me so much how to love, be patient, and to always see the good in everyone. Thank you, Edouard, for being my support, my confidant, my best friend, and my love. I literally can't wait for today to finally become your wife and for our life together as one. I love you more than you know, Habib. Until then, my love. Love always, Mona. Cause you are the best part of me the side I hope We want to thank God for giving us this wonderful sacrament and for helping us find each other. Real love is something amazing and very rare. I just want to tell Mona that I love her very much and that I can't wait to spend the, the rest of my life with her. I want to tell our parents, without them, we wouldn't be where we are today. They're the most amazing parents that we could have asked for. And for our fathers, for our brothers and sisters, for all our friends, we just want to say we love you guys very much. To both of you, 
I say this. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you. And may he give you peace. To my brother and new sister, Edward Mona Yusuf. Salute.